everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Fiona and this is Fifi Crossings. Today I wanted to do a video about Animal Crossing and mental health because I don't think it's been talked about enough and honestly this game has changed my life. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me in real life, um, I have got OCD and uh, I'm also autistic. I also had anxiety and depression as diagnoses, but I went through a lot of therapy and I'm doing a lot better now. One of those things that really helped me during those times and throughout my entire life was Animal Crossing. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, I think that this game has done a lot for everyone, and I think that the best example of that is also quarantine. Animal Crossing is based off the concept of moving to a place where you know nobody or no one and you have basically nothing but the clothes on your back. And it's about building up friendship and connection with people and finding your way through the world. But specifically, I want to talk about the aspects of the game that really helped me when I was feeling anxious or depressed or when my intrusive thoughts were getting too much for me. <laughs> Anyone who's played the games long enough knows that the game is meant to be slow. It's meant to be slow paced, it's meant to be relaxing, and you can spend hours watering your flowers, fishing, finding shells, slowly making your way up to Nook's shop, selling them, putting the money into your bank account and starting all over again. When I'm feeling anxious or down, to have been able to log into a game that is so slow paced, that is just calm music and nothing but you and your fishing rod and your bug net and wandering around occasionally talking to my villagers and catching some fish and focusing on that one single task for a few hours that always brought me right down the fact that the connections you make with these characters in the game they do start to feel real for a lot of people and having those kind of friends that you know will always be there when you log back into your game that is a really nice feeling to move on to the way it's helped me with depression, I think that a lot of people can relate to this through quarantine maybe, <clears throat> because even though not everyone has depression, I know that a lot of people have been feeling depressed in quarantine. Knowing that you can log into a game and have something productive to do, that is something that kept people wanting to wake up in the morning every day and wanting to log onto their Switch and log into the game and do something. Literally, every single day there is something to do that makes you want to wake up and wants, want to get up and want to check in on people. I think there's something really magical about that and I think that the creators of the game have done an incredible job with that and the game probably could not have come at a better time globally either <laughs> because everyone that I've talked to about Corona and Animal Crossing has said how much the game has helped them get through it. Um, OCD is also a really big part of my life. And for anyone who knows about OCD, who maybe knows someone with OCD, you all know that distraction is one of the most important techniques for intrusive thoughts. I can't tell you how many times trying to catch a particular fish has helped me get away from an intrusive thought because I can't think about something else when I'm trying to catch a fish. I have to think specifically about, is the bobber now under the water or am I gonna let the fish get away? <laughs> Same as when I'm catching bugs, and you have to focus completely on the task at hand because otherwise you'll get it wrong. I honestly couldn't be more grateful for that game for that. Animal Crossing, isolation wise, has been magical for me. Um, I am in the high risk group with COVID. I am on <clears throat> immunosuppressants. I've been in quarantine for a really long time now. Isolation gets to everyone. But it's even harder to watch everyone else that you know go out and have some kind of normality while you're stuck at home. Logging onto that game every day, to have a whole island to walk about, an island that is mine, an island that I get to create, that I get to decorate, something that is purely for me, with villagers that I actually care about because I picked them out, <laughs> that has been massively helpful for me during quarantine. Through my Instagram, through my Animal Crossing Instagram, I've met some of the most wonderful people I've ever met. It's an experience I never had before quarantine, and I'm so grateful for the fact that I did set up an Instagram account, that I did decide to start doing YouTube to meet more of you. That has been a lifesaver for me. The community around this game is the most wholesome community I have ever been in, and honestly, people are the nicest. I'm just really excited to be a part of this. And I hope that anyone else struggling with mental health issues is 
managing and I hope that the game maybe helps a little bit and if not you can always talk to me or to people who love you around you. I hope you have a great day. <laughs>